Welcome to an old Abus 5540. My son cleaned up his room and he found this lock. I probably gave it to him one or two years ago because he also wanted to try picking locks but he's not interested anymore. So it returned to me and now I want to pick it on camera and then I will tell you what I want to do with this lock. So first try to pick it. There is no key for this lock. So I can't, cannot show you the bidding. But I can hopefully show you a picking. Pick, <clears throat> I picked it a couple of times before. It's not difficult, but it's also not um, not trivial. So let's start. Four set. Two is binding. Got it. Dropped one. One returned. Five is binding. I think I got it, or maybe not all the way, or maybe an overset. No, now one is binding again, and now three is binding. Got it. So yeah, overset this time. Okay, try again. Three, and yeah, this time. Not open yet. Five came back. Got five, hopefully. And the lock opened. So here we have the picking. Yeah, you can see the lock is quite dirty. A lot of um, corrosion and probably here was a sticker. I want to go down in the shop and pull out my brass wire wheel and see what I can do to make this lock shine again. I will also try to make these edges round and these uh, corners. I want to make a smooth and shiny looking lock uh, from this piece of brass. So let's see how that goes. So here's the lock back. Yeah, you have seen me wire brushing it, filing the edges and the corners, sanding it, washing with alcohol to get the dust out and finally I sprayed WD-40 in the keyway to um, get the lock work smoothly. It came out pretty nice, so we have no sharp edges and corners anymore. Also the finish is um, more or less okay. I expected it to be a little more uh, shiny, but it has a bit of structure, that's okay. Um, it's not perfectly um, consistent with the edges and the corners, but it feels much better in the hand. It's, it's really smooth and uh, pleasing to touch and to hold. Um, yeah, so I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out, I have to say. So, I want to pick it again, uh, but this time I want to see if I can pick the uh, spools first and uh, then at the very end pick the uh, first pin, which is the standard pin, the, the gatekeeper, and then the lock should turn open. So let's see. I'm not sure if I can do that with the first try, but um, yeah. 
I will make sure that you don't have to watch too many um, unsuccessful attempts. So let's try again. I also changed the light so that you can see a little better. I avoid one and go straight to the spools. Start with five maybe. I think I got it. Uh, one is still binding so I have not overset number five. Get feedback from four. Still tight at one. That was two. I think five came back, so it's still tight. So maybe we are good. Let's see. Let's pick one. And we are open. Yep. That was pretty fun. <laughs> so not too difficult actually to pick the spools first, especially when you have a wide open keyway like here. Yeah, pretty nice lock. Thank you very much to my son for giving it to me. Um, yeah, and everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye-bye.